Hi guys, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use um, Max Prep and Prime. And what this does is it smooths your skin and it helps to adhere your, um, your foundation. Then, I'm going to use Benefits uh, Professional, and that's going to cover up my pores. It's silicone-based, and it's not going to hurt your skin, but it minimizes those pores. So I get scotch tape, I put it on the back of my hand, smooth it out on the back of my hand so it gets, um, uh, so it takes off the, the stickiness, the extra stickiness, and then I put it on my eye. I guess that's what happens when you get new nails. I stick it underneath my eye and then try to angle it um, for my, my eyebrow to make a, a, um, an angled for my wing liner whenever I go to put that on. Okay, so now I'm going to get started on my eye. I'm going to use Kat Von D's um, Mavita Loca palette. And before I go in with the palette, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using Max. Um, soft ochre palette, soft ochre palette, soft ochre, um, eye primer, this helps your, um, to prime your eyes and to help with your, uh, powders lasting um, longer all day. I'm very new at this makeup um, tutorial thing, so you guys are going to notice a lot of dead space and a lot of mmms. Okay, now that I've primed it with the Soft Ochre um, eyeshadow. Um, I am going to go in and give myself a base. Sorry, I'm blind as a bat. I'm going to use a Lyric. And I'm just going to put this all over my eye as a base. Uh, I'm probably not helping you guys out at all. Me staring at Okay, now I'm going to go in with the light yellow, which is called Fran. And I'm going to add, um, you know what? I'm going to get a mirror to help me out here. I'm going to go in with a yellow, the fern, and I'm going to start out with um, light layers. Sorry, can't find my my brushes. And this is a Sigma blender, and it is E25. I'm doing circular motions and windshield wiper technique to get it blended in. 
And what I want is, I want the eyeshadow to be up here. And then I want to come in with my blue, because I want to do um, yellow and blue. And I, I really haven't seen that um, on any of the YouTube uh, tutorials that I have been watching. And, um, and I've really been learning, especially from uh, Jacqueline Hill, Manny MUA, um, Desi Perkins, uh, Patrick Star RR. There's so many out there and so many uh, good artists. And what I'm doing is I'm doing it in layers because if you do um, your colors um, harsh at first, um, it's easier to add on than to take away. I mean, it is makeup, right? I mean, you can always um, take it off and then start all over again if you don't like the look that you've... Um, see what I'm talking about? Listen to all the ums. What was I talking about? It's just makeup and it does come off, so you know, and then start all over again. It's really no big deal. I'm still working with my camera. I can't see um, what you guys are seeing until I'm done. I don't have another mirror to... Um, um, I don't have a video camera to where I can see what I'm doing, so I have to go back in and edit. And I think I'm going to go back in with another I really want this I really wanted this to be a crayon yellow color. Because I think it would look so pretty with the blue. And hopefully I'll be able to get better at these tutorials and that I'm not boring. The next shade that I'm going in with is Dark Wave. And I'm going in the V the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going in and I'm blending that in my crease. Let me get my mirror back again so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm just going in the outer V of my eye. And then I'm going to um, blend that into my crease. Then again, I'm going back in with the... Um, windshield wiper and a circular motion. I want to do this 
uh, a little bit better than I did yesterday. Um, after I took pictures, I don't believe that I blended out my, my blue um, enough. So today I'm going to try to do a little bit better job than I did yesterday. Then again, I'm going in with the windshield wiper technique. Just blending that into my crease. And I'm trying to get this a dark blue, not exactly to, to match my um, shirt, but um, just a little bit darker than what it is on my palette. This other brush that I'm using is a Lancome number 13. It's an angled brush. It's very nice. Um, I've had it for years. Oh, you can see the powder. Um, it's a very nice angled brush and um, it's very dense and I use it to lay down my powder and then I've been blending it out with my uh, Signa uh, E25. Sorry, I'm blind as a bat. I have macular degeneration and it's getting worse. So I don't know how many years I'll be able to do this. But I wanted to be able to, um, I know to show um, more mature women um, not to be afraid of using color on their face. Um, I've noticed uh, being out in town and shopping and stuff that um, they usually go to a neutral palette. And there's so many beautiful colors out there to, um, to play with. Well, as you can see, I finished um, my foundation and my eyebrows off camera. As you can see, I finished my foundation and my um, eyebrows off camera. So right now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay and I'm going to do my concealer. I'm going to set that with my blender sponge. I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to pat it into place. I don't want to get too far over. Because Patrick Starr said that it it makes your face um, wider, and I don't want to make my my face wider. But I do have some age spots. And I do have under eye creases and wrinkles that uh, before I was putting it on like this and tapping it in but it settles into your fine lines and your um, your creases under your eye so I don't want to be doing that And you 
can see my flabby chin. And I need to... Oh, nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay. So now I'm going to set that under eye. Using my Laura Mercier brightening powder. And I'm just going to tap that into place. Next, I'm going to use my MAC Light Mineralized uh, Finish Foundation Powder. And I'm going to put this over the rest of my face where I did not set um, my foundation. And I'm going to pat that into my, into my skin. And now I'm going to do my my eye, the rest of my eyes, and I'm going to finish that off camera. I'm going to be setting my um, my eyeliner, and I'm going to be putting my falsies on. Okay, so now I'm going to. I'm going to contour now. And you go up above your ear to almost beside your, your mouth. And this is by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to add a little bit of banana powder to highlight under my eyes a little bit to brighten them up. And I'm using a color from Lancome. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I don't remember what color this is. I'd have to put on my spectacles. I don't know if you can hear that. The neighborhood kids are all out there screaming for some reason. I thought maybe something happened, but they're just out there screaming. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Becca powder, and it's the Jaclyn Hill It's the um, Jaclyn Hill collar. Um, champagne pop. Let me get a brush. What brush do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. And it is my Sigma blending brush. And I'm going to use it. because I ordered some more brushes and they're not here yet. Oh gosh, love that. And they're not here yet and I wanted to, and I've got one for this, specifically that I bought for this to highlight, add some shimmer to my cheekbones. I'm gonna dab a little bit down my 
nose, the bridge of my nose. I'm going to add a little bit here. On my Cupid's bow. And I was going to use my Kat Von D. And I don't know what I did with it. I'm going to use my Antique Velvet by MAC. And I guess that's it for now. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.